I will assume that you've already read uh, the passage. Which of the following would the author not endorse as an example of domestication? So domestication is a psychical process which has uh, physical changes um, um, on consequent on confinement and variation in food and habits, um, and it's done to um, for the good of mankind. So a growing corn crops that are naturally resistant to destruction by insects. So that is um, physical changes for the good of mankind. So the author would think that and therefore would not not endorse it. Uh, B, training seeing eye dogs to accompany blind people and keep them out of danger. We do have this further notion of cultivation involving rearing and training, so that would be an example of domestication, and it's also a psychical process, changing the minds of these dogs to watch out for blind people. Uh, C, racing horses and other animals in contests of speed. So not only does this not involve a psychical process uh, or... Um, any training necessarily. It just says, hey, horse, go uh, run. I hope you win. Um, it also doesn't really directly benefit mankind just saying, hey, let's have a race. So this one really stands out. Let's check the other ones, though. Uh, D, weaning a child off of refined sugars for health reasons. So again, this is about changing food and habits. We have variation in food and habits here, uh, and it's for the child's own good. So we get rid of that one. And then E, breeding hypoallergenic cats for ownership by people with severe allergies. So this, is, uh, this has physical changes consequent on confinement and variation in food and habits. It's also done for the good of, of mankind. Um, and so that seems to be the best one. C is the one that most stands out as not training, no physical changes, and not for the good of mankind.